Hello, my fellow Aldi addict. It's Jackie. It's another Monday and I'm back at Aldi. I'm getting a week of groceries and I'm excited. I'm also interested in just perusing some of the new items. I saw that they have freeze dried chocolate covered bananas and that they're really good. So I'm looking for those. We'll see what else there is in there. Let's get in, see what the store has. And don't forget at the end, I will share with you my meal plan and any recipes I'm using will be linked below in the description. Let's go. Okay, I'm looking for dried strawberries. It looks like they might only have apples here. Hopefully they have them somewhere else. I'll see on some for lunch. I'm off to a bad start. I want an English muffins too. They're out of them. First success of the trip, a baguette for spaghetti night, $1.59. Bananas are 45 cents a pound. I'm gonna get a bunch. Wow, I love this price for strawberries, $2.15. They don't look like the juiciest strawberries in the world, but my son asked for these for his lunch. He'll be very happy. I'm gonna get two of them. I need Brussels sprouts. I'll roast these for dinner, one of my personal favorites. And then I'm also gonna get $1.69 a pound for fresh broccoli. I'll make this for a side and then we'll use the leftovers for our baked potato bar. I'm going to get mini cucumbers for lunches. Um, $1.89 for these. And then I'm gonna make a cucumber uh, dish to take to my in-laws later this week. And I'm gonna get three of these at 95 cents. I need a dozen eggs, $2.78. That box has seen better days. <laughs> I need heavy cream to make Alfredo, $5.19. Okay, butter, I need the 369 for four sticks. I completely ran out of yellow onions, getting a bag for 209. I'm making mashed potatoes and baked potatoes this week, 399 for 10 pounds of potatoes. You can get so much food from these, I love the value. My son's request for vegetables on his lunch this week is celery, $1.39. $2.29 for mini avocados. To make Spanish rice, I need some tomato sauce, 45 cents. Yay, the big jars are back. $3.95 for creamy peanut butter. My husband uses peanut butter almost on a daily basis, but he's also gonna make Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow. Running low on vinegar, I use this to clean, clean my um, fruits. Lots of uses, $3.29. I completely ran out of soy sauce and I didn't have any in the pantry, $1.95. Okay, for the puppy chow or muddy buddies, I'm getting rice checks or rice squares, they're $2.65. I'm also gonna get a box of the cinnamon life or as Aldi calls it, balance, $2.15. Okay, I'm getting the honey wheat puffs or the sugar smacks, $2.09. Apple juice, juice boxes. These remain my son's absolute favorite. $2.79. I have some really nice um, decor pillows, like a coastal theme, they call them. $6.99. Sherpa throws. Rugs, comforters. This is like a good value, 50 pack of hangers. These look pretty, loungewear socks. $7.99 for two pairs, lots of patterns. I love these serving platters. If they wouldn't be a pain to store, I'd probably get this blue one. They're very pretty, only $9.99. And I'm glad they still have a bunch of runners because I kind of had regrets over not getting one. I really like this one, it'd be dark so if things fall on it, it wouldn't really show and they're $9.99 and I like the palms on it too so I'm getting it there's lots of different ladies pants here they have leggings joggers that are denim um, these are like a gray denim they're actually kind of cute pot pants pajama set and then they also have underwear. Lots of different things here. Writing utensil sets. So they have these permanent markers, 24 pack for $10. 
tiny day cream. My daughter likes to use this, 365. I use it as well. And I'm getting two things of cat litter, 559. I swear Aldi plays pranks on me because it doesn't, it seems like no matter what broth I'm looking for, they do not have it. So that's a little on the frustrating side. They don't have beef broth. Guess I'll use bouillon. I need cream of mushroom soup, 67 cents. I rarely use that, but I want to follow a new recipe to a tea. Onion soup mix, 89 cents for the same recipe for Salisbury steak. And you also use brown gravy, but I have that on hand. Okay, I saw that a lot of all these had these marked down. It's not even shown that it's a markdown right here, but I'm gonna get, I think, three jars of these because my daughter and I love cherries, and I think this would be great to have on hand for recipes, and they're good through 2026, so I'm getting three jars at $1.49. Another mess, but they don't have any shaker parmesan, which is a bummer. But they do have spaghetti, so I'm going to get, I think, three boxes. No, I'm going to get two boxes of these. They're two-pound boxes at $1.88. Because it's been hit or miss if they actually have these on hand. I'm going to try this marinara and see what my family thinks of it. $3.89. We are running low on olive oil. $5.69. My husband would have been really bummed because I almost forgot the semi-sweet chocolate chips for his puppy chow, $1.89. I am getting my tried and true bacon for baked potato bar. I love this stuff. It's uh, $4.25, super good. But this bacon last week was amazing. It was delicious. I really loved it, but for value, I'm getting this. Okay, I looked out. They did have strawberries in the second location they keep them. Else they will be happy, 329. For our Alfredo Noki night, I'm making this chicken breast, 399 a pound, so this is only 379. Okay, this is the cube steak that I saw on Facebook that inspired me to want to make the Salisbury steaks. I'm following the lady's recipe. 659 a pound. This is gonna be um, I'm gonna get the 956 package. Easter hams have made their way here. They're only $1.99 a pound. Lots of different varieties. And of course they do get um, different prices, $1.79, $3.99. They only have one pack of the chicken farm patties and I'm very tempted to buy it because we really liked it last week. I just don't want to take up the room in the freezer, and we do still have half the box left, but it was really good. I definitely recommend it. Turkey, they have sweet and sour chicken. The prices are kind of messed up here as far as not having listings. Pretty empty and kind of nasty looking case here. Shrimp, scallops, cauliflower bites, crab legs. different seafood options. Everything looks basically the same as last week. They still have garlic, but very little ginger. I still haven't tried these yet. Okay, we're on a green bean run. These are the green beans for my dog, 96 cents a bag. I'm getting two, but these are the green beans for my family, 229 for the bag. I like to steam these, and then once they're cooked, I just pan fry them in butter with some garlic, salt, and pepper. And my family loves them. Parmesan optional. Okay, we, we hit the Shamrock Central over here for food. They have the mint cream um, Oreos, 265. And this is what I wanted to find. Dark chocolate covered freeze dried bananas, 349. And I'm definitely getting it. I've also heard the strawberries are really good, but this is the one I want, so I'm getting this. I've also heard that this is really good, a frozen minty shamrock mix. Three packs, they're $4.99, and they do come with instructions on the back. Lucky Charms. 
Lots of cereals, soups, different instant oatmeals, sour cream and shamrock potato chips. Interesting. I don't really know what that would taste like. They also have these St. Patrick's Day chocolate truffles, chocolate cream, Irish cream, salted caramel, and lucky vanilla. They're $2.99. You get eight chocolates. Coconut flowers here. Specialty cookies. Different spatzel packages. Okay, here is my cart. Any guess on my total? I think I'm done. Okay, my total is $133.14. Now let's go home and see the meal plan. Okay, our meal plan for the week. This is my vegetarian's favorite, her request, spaghetti with marinara. We have a green vegetable and then butter, bread, and cheese on the side. We didn't have tacos last week, so I still have everything that I bought last week. We're having that tomorrow night. I saw on an Aldi Facebook group, Salisbury steak in the crock pot. I'm making that with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. I'm making that with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Last week I bought the gnocchi. I'm going to boil that and then I fry it in butter and I'm going to make an alfredo sauce with it. Friday we're going to eat dinner at my in-laws house and I'm just bringing a side dish of some spicy cucumbers. Saturday we're going to have a baked potato bar and then finally on Sunday we'll have leftovers of all of these meals. It's not my video but if you want to see a video that's very similar to the Asian spicy cucumbers I'm going to make you can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.